Hi there, Steven of Metatronic Mods here, and today I have in front of me a Roland TR505, which I modded at the request of a friend of mine several years ago. It recently found its way back into my possession, but as you'll soon see, I really have no clue how to use a TR505, nor do I really desire to learn. So I'm going to be selling this unit, and this will just be a quick demonstration of the features that I added. It'll probably be a terrible demonstration of the 5R5 itself, and it's probably not a very good modular patch since I've just quickly thrown this together, so you'll want to look elsewhere for more interesting examples of either of those. Alright, so to start off, I'll just go over the uh, list of features that I've added, and from left to right, I've got a control voltage input and a knob control for affecting the 505's internal clock rate. Uh, that's not to be confused with the tempo clock, but that's actually uh, the, the, uh, the bitrate of the sample playback. So that basically translates to a pitch up or pitch down effect, like this. That's with a free running envelope patched in, or I can affect it manually. And then over on the right side, I've got 16 new output jacks. The top row here are separate audio outputs for each channel, and the bottom row are the corresponding triggers for each channel. Uh, so there's you know, 16 parts in total on the 505, but some of them share a common channel, like the three toms are all on one channel, the cowbells are both on the same channel. Um, but it works out to eight possible channels altogether. So that basically means that you could use this 505 as a rhythm sequencer for you know, up to eight other instruments, which is what I'll be doing here in a minute. Uh, I've got triggers patched out to some other modules, and you can hear I'll be triggering other events and things. Uh, and then as for the audio outputs, the audio jacks are switching jacks and so when you if you want to process a uh, instrument part independent from you know the main output uh, like say you just want to run the bass drum through a filter or something then when you patch into its individual audio output that pulls it out of the main mix so now you won't get the unaltered signal coming through on your main out so like if I just play a cowbell here and then patch into the cowbell's audio out, now you can hear that it's been removed from the signal. Um, and if I take the main audio output, there you go. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, now I'm just going to pause the video and switch over audio sources on the camera so that you can get a little bit better sound quality for the demo and just play a little bit. So that's basically 
basically it. If you're interested in purchasing this TR505, I'll have a link below to uh, probably do uh, an eBay auction for it. And I've also got another 505 which hasn't been modded yet, but I'm probably going to do the same thing to uh, unless anybody you know, wants to get in touch with me, has a special request for some mods to do, um, you can contact me through my website linked below. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.